Hey everyone, Tony from TN3D Studios and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the AI Enhancer in the new version of D5 2.8. D5 is easily becoming the best well-rounded render engine, specifically this year, not only because they have the most AI features, but all of their AI features perform exceptionally well. Now the latest out of D5 2.8 is the new image enhancer. This takes your base render and enhances them to photorealistic levels of detail, similar to Kraya AI, Stable Diffusion, and other AI tools that are out there. And currently it supports noise reduction material vegetation and 3d assets enhancement it's currently in the beta stage so it's not completely functional but it has created enough excitement in the d5 community so obviously i am curious to see how well it performs so let's dive right into it so this is the scene that we're going to test out the materials lighting and scatter is already set if you want to watch that scatter tutorial there'll be a link somewhere on the screen now, if you look close to the render icon, you're going to find the new AI enhancer function. And if you go into it, you can see that it's a very simple and easy user interface, nothing too complicated. You can find your rendering history as well as a couple of buttons here on the right. But let's go and follow a more practical workflow so we can see how it all fits together. So first we need to create a render. That's pretty obvious. We're going to set this view and we're going to create this render. We'll keep it at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio at 2K resolution and we're going to hit render. Now this is our first rendered image. Obviously it's already finished but this is how it looks. Not too bad. Once again your rendering skills are still needed so you can make the most out of AI. And once that render is done you'll be prompt to add it to the AI enhancer. So click this button and right away you can see we have our image and you have a couple of options you can enhance the entire image or you can add and remove few elements that you want to enhance so if you use this plus and minus icon here and click on a few elements you can select your trees the sky the grass and the scatter presets you can select specific materials all in which it will separately enhance in respect to your render now you also have the reverse selection option which selects the opposite of your current selection so a very good option to have and you also have the three levels of details which go from weak normal to the strongest now we are going to compare this in a second just to see how far the ai enhancement can take your base render and last, you also have the fixed seed option. Now I've seen this in a couple of rendering platforms and I still don't understand what it does. So if someone knows what this setting is for, please leave it down in the comment section. So now it's time to compare our results. So this is our original image and this is our first AI image. Now, honestly, this looks very good. The image is completely denoised everything looks clear and you can tell that the details in the image are completely enhanced if you take a look at the trees the shrubs the overall image just feels completely different now if we look a bit closer at the vegetation and the rocks it still has that ai look to it and it still looks more realistic as for the brick materials you can tell that it has a bit more contrast to it even the curtain it hasn't strayed away too much from the original render the reflection looks amazing and honestly just looking at the overall image i think these are exceptional results for a built-in ai enhancer so the last AI image was enhanced with the normal level of detail, but let's compare the other two and see how far this AI can take our base image. So this is our original image. This is the weak level of detail, normal level of detail, and the strongest level of detail. And for one last comparison, we have our original render and the strongest level of detail. Now, right away, if AI upscales an image, you can expect it to add some extra pixels. It's definitely going to look a lot sharper and cleaner with very strong contrast. I do feel like you don't need to do much post with these results unless you're going to do some color correction, which once again, D5 has color correction settings that you can use. Now, I do like the way it handled the highlights and the shadows. This also helps to create depth 
in the image between the foreground elements and the elements that are further in the background, you can tell that they are more desaturated with less contrast in comparison to the elements that are in the foreground. So here is another example which involves some 3D assets of people and animal. I want to see how well it can enhance these 3D assets. So this is our original render and this is our AI enhanced result, both in which look more realistic than the base render. And if we take a look at the animal, but I just want to see how well it works, you can tell that the fur and the face of the animal look a lot better than it did before. And for our last example, we have a night render. Once again, when you're creating night renders, lighting are your best friends. So this is our original render and this is our enhanced image. Once again, from all of the points that I've already highlighted in the previous examples, you can tell that the image is enhanced beautifully. The vegetation looks great. It handled the contrast and the color contrast really well. And it just looks more realistic. It's not too far from the original. It didn't add any weird artifacts. I've seen other tools add things and interpret some elements differently in its final results. But this AI enhancer in D5 definitely respects the base image and still gives you something that is much better. Video Once again, I think D5 has added another game changing feature and they are making it really difficult for you to use any other third party uh, software to enhance your images to do post-production because they're just inviting everything in into their platform so have you used this new ai enhancer what do you think in comparison to what else is out there leave it down in the comment section let's start a conversation around what d5 is doing it's definitely growing in popularity growing with ai features and it's easily becoming the best render engine on the market so as always like share subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you guys next time